ओके मा सो एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी सो व्हाट इज मेंट बाय एक्सेलरेशन मा एक्सेलरेशन मींस चेंज इन वेलोसिटी बाय चेंजिंग टाइम दैट इज कॉल्ड एक्सेलरेशन नो ओके सी मा फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई टेक दिस बॉडी ऑफ मासियम एंड कंसीडर फ्रिक्शनल फोर्सेस आर जीरो एंड आई एम अप्लाइंग अ फोर्स ऑफ एफ ओके देन व्हाट दिस फोर्स विल डू पुश चेस तो नहीं अलग ऐसे पिल्लो नडी ना चप्पा रहा है। आ, this is the net force which is acting on this mass no? Beyond this force there is no other force. So this force is responsible for accelerating the body. And what is the acceleration produced? My acceleration formula, y is equals to f divided by m. This is the acceleration produced. Clear no? And this is what called this is called as linear acceleration. Acceleration produced by any force acting on the body. Okay. Similarly, for example, if it is Earth, are you able to understand? No? And consider this is a body of massium present here. Then this mass will be pulled by Earth, no? With the help of gravitational force. Earth always pulls a body with a particular force. And what is that force called as? Weight of that body. Are you able to understand? No? We human beings, we have some mass, no? For example, my mass is some, let us call, 70 kg, for example. Are you able to understand? Then what is the force with which Earth is pulling me? Earth is pulling me, what is the force? 700 Newton. How I got this 700 Newton? By multiplying with G value. So, M multiplied by G, that will give weight of the body. No? And what is meant by weight? Weight is nothing but force with which Earth is pulling my body. Are you able to understand? Ma? For example, if I take my body itself, I can write the net force acting on my body is mass into acceleration. This is the equation of net force. Ma? My mass of the body is 70 kg and acceleration due to Earth is how much? Acceleration due to Earth can also be written as a G value and it is approximately 9.8 or you can say 10. So, my weight is 700 Newton. This is how we calculate now. So, what is meant by 700 Newton or weight of the body? Weight is nothing but the force with which Earth is pulling my body. That is called as weight of a body. Okay, ma? If body is a smaller, Earth will apply less force. So, its weight also will be lesser. If a mass is bigger, Earth will apply greater force. Are you able to understand? Ma? So, therefore, its weight also will be greater. Are you able to understand? But whatever it may be, this A value, acceleration of earth, this is a constant. Are you able to understand? Acceleration means what? Acceleration is nothing but a change in velocity divided by change in time. This is acceleration number. So, whatever may be the body, earth always gives same acceleration. Are you able to understand? For example, if this pen. For pen, earth will provide how much acceleration? 9.8 meters per second square. Human body. For human body also, Earth provides the same acceleration, 9.8 meters per second square. But in this condition, acceleration value may change now continuously. Acceleration depends on mass also, it depends on force also. But in the case of Earth and other planets, okay, Namaskar. We know. So for, in the case of Earth, acceleration is always a constant. Okay, ma? Force changes. Mass may also change. But the acceleration provided by Earth is always a constant and it is always equal to 9.8. Whereas in the case of linear motion, it changes. Cars, they travel with a different acceleration. But acceleration given by Earth is always a constant. Why it is a constant? Let us see ma'am. So, weight of this body is mg. No? Okay. Weight of this body is mg. And how the body is getting weight because of gravitational force body is getting weight only because of gravitational force no? so and what is the equation of gravitational force so let us consider this body is present on the surface of the earth okay then what is the distance from center of earth to this body ma? it is called as uh, r radius of earth is r so weight is equals to mg is equals to and gravitational force is g m1 m2 divided by r square this is the formula of gravitational force no? And gravitational force is responsible for providing weight of the body. Gravitational force is weight of the body. 
so therefore mg and gmm by r squared they should be equal so this is body of mass m1 which is equal to m and r is mass of m2 whose mass is capital m now substitute the values therefore mg is equals to g small m into capital m divided by radius of earth is r square that's all now. so small m and small m will get cancelled so what is the g value g value is gm divided by r square so this is the equation of the acceleration provided by earth okay so earth provides this much amount of acceleration on any body now see my here this acceleration is independent of small m no we don't even careful here. this g value is independent of small m small m means what mass of the body so acceleration of earth is not dependent on mass of the body it is dependent on capital m capital m means what mass of earth so if planet size increases acceleration due to gravity increases but acceleration doesn't depend on the body on which earth is or particular planet is applying the force are able to understand ma so that is why acceleration on this pen is also 9.8 acceleration on human body also 9.8 acceleration on feather is also 9.8 acceleration on paper is also 9.8 whatever it may be acceleration always remains 8.9.8 because it is independent of mass of the particle it is only dependent on mass of planet only formula lo small m ledu kada manaku ledu ante artham emi it doesn't depend on mass of the body it only depends on mass of planet so mass of earth is 6 into 10 power 24 kg okay ma so g value is 9.8 mass of moon is 80 times less than when compared to mass of earth are able to understand ma so ma acceleration due to moon is it is only 1.67 because mass is lesser no are able to understand ma similarly if you take sun sun g value is 27.3 so nearly 3 times bigger when compared to acceleration of earth because sun is a very big body and its mass is very large are able to understand that's it so therefore what i write here therefore i write that acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity is independent of is independent of what mass of body it depends on it depends on mass and radius of planet are able to understand no? it depends on mass as well as radius of the planet itself so therefore if i want to calculate g value of earth then what is the equation we derived ma g is equal to gm divided by r square g value we know no 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 mass of earth is 6 into 10 power 24 kg radius of earth is so much for 6400 into 10 power 3 meters 6400 kilometers is the radius of earth okay i want to convert it into meters no so 6.6400 multiplied by 10 power 3 whole square if you do this total calculation it is approximately 9.81 meter per second square or you can call approximately 10 meter per second square okay so this g value always is same for any body okay ma g value doesn't change depending on the body it is always a constant hmm? this is the most important point so general acceleration you can provide any type of acceleration no ma earth by na move out on a body is key you can give any type of acceleration but acceleration given by earth is always same and it is 9.81 meter per second square clear that's it okay so this is the most important equation ma to calculate g of any planet not only earth for any planet g is equals to gm divided by r square okay so next we study factors on which g value depends on a particular planet factors on which g value depends upon 
okay ma'am. So, on how many factors the acceleration due to gravity depends upon? So, it first of all it depends upon altitude or you can call it as height. So, if you go far away from the surface of earth, then g value reduces, g value the good word, clear ma'am. Similarly, it depends upon depth also, depth inside earth. If you go deeper inside that, then also g value reduces. Okay, ma'am. It depends on shape of earth. Shape of earth is not a perfect sphere, ma'am. Earth perfect sphere, it is bulged at the equator, compressed at the poles. Okay. Similarly, it depends upon rotation of earth also. Because, because of rotation, centripetal force produces no and because of centripetal and centrifugal forces also, G value depends upon. Clear ma? And it also depends upon geographical deposits. Geographical deposits. So, for example, what are the deposits present on the particular area of earth? Depending on that also, G value changes. Are you able to understand ma? For example, on earth, G value will be slightly different on, on the surface of ocean, G value will be slightly different. Slightly, very slightly, so slightly that you cannot differentiate. Okay, so these are the factors on which G value depends upon. Height, depth, shape, rotation and geographical deposits. Now let us study each of them in uh, detail. Okay. So, first of all, I will study about altitude. Okay, ma? altitude is nothing but height. So, see, ma? so G value on the surface of the earth, it is Gm divided by R square. When body is present on the surface of earth, see, ma? this is the earth and some mass is present here and when body is present on the surface of earth, then radius is R. Okay. Similarly, G dash is equals to Gm divided by small r whole square or Gm divided by r plus h whole square. Now, what is meant by this G dash sigma? So, this is the surface of earth and a body is present somewhere here. And height long. So, from the center of earth, this total distance is called as small r. This distance is capital R and this height is h number. So, therefore, small r can be written as r plus h also. Are you able to understand? r means radius. h means height of that body from the surface of earth. This distance is called as h and this is radius and this total distance is called small r. Are you able to understand? So, small r is equal to r plus h. So, therefore, if I divide these two equations, g dash by g is equals to so, Gm divided by R plus H whole square divided by Gm by R square. So, Gm and Gm get cancelled. So, G dash is equals to G R square divided by R plus H whole square. Okay, ma? So, this is the equation to calculate G dash. What is meant by G dash? G value at a particular height. Okay, ma? Okay, particular height low, g dash value in the middle. Where g is the gravitation or acceleration on the surface of earth. Okay. So, g r square divided by r plus h whole square. So, make a note of two. What is g here? g means acceleration on the surface of earth. g dash means acceleration at a particular height. So, therefore, can you say g dash is bigger or g is bigger? Yeh the pedda than taro. Definitely G is bigger because G dash is G into R square by R plus H whole square. Denominator is bigger, no? When compared to R square, denominator is bigger. R plus H whole square bigger value, no? So, automatically G dash value will be lesser. Okay, ma? So, therefore, I can say G dash is less than G. It means if you go above the surface of earth, slowly G value reduces. Meeru pai ke velle koddi G value yamai potundi, tagi potundi. Are you able to understand ma? That's it. And see ma, this equation g dash is equals to g r square by r plus h whole square, we can use 
we can use for any heights okay ma for any height you can use this one any height means for whether height is smaller whether height is bigger for any value you can use this relation are you able to understand but there is one more relation whose derivation i am not writing ma i am directly writing the equation g dash is equals to g into 1 minus 2 h divided by r this relation is obtained from this relation id ekkada nunchi vastundi ikkada nunchi vastundi are able to understand ma but this is approximate value okay so can be used can be used only for small heights okay ma when heights are very small when compared to radius of earth what is the radius of earth radius of earth is 6400 kilometers no ma so when height is 10 meters 20 meters 100 kilometers 200 kilometers 400 kilometers from surface of earth so these values are very small no when compared to radius radius of earth is how much 6400 h values we are taking small values so for small for such a small values you can use this relation approximately you will get the answer but if you want exact answer go for this equation g dash is equals to g r square by r plus h whole square this is derived from binomial theorem idu de nunchi derive avutundi binomial theorem nunchi from the same relation and binomial theorem always we take approximate values okay so when heights are very small like 10 meter 20 meter 200 meters 1 kilometer 2 kilometer 60 kilometer 100 kilometer 200 kilometer 400 kilometers also you can use this relation if you want to use 10000 kilometer 30000 kilometer then you have to use this relation artha avutundi kada that's it okay so therefore mostly we use this relation only g dash is equals to g into 1 minus 2 h divided by r okay that's it so in the same altitude we will write down percentage change in g value with respect to height okay percentage change in g value with respect to, to height percentage change means how can i calculate ma percentage change means how can i calculate so percentage change means fraction or fractional change multiplied by 100 this is how i write no fraction multiplied by 100 will give percentage fractional change how can i calculate g dash minus g divided by g value this is a fraction this is final g value initial g value final minus initial chesthe em vastundi change mark entu undo adu vastundi ante kada that value divided by original value you will get fraction fraction multiplied by 100 you will get percentage change are you able to understand so g dash minus g is called what change change in g g lo jarigina mark g dash minus g by g is called what fraction or fractional change so my change always i have to compare with original value no so g dash minus g by g <coughs> multiplied by 100 now substitute this values g dash value is this much no g into 1 minus 2 h by r minus g g only substitute chese ent vastundo chudandi see what is the value you will get okay ma completed ma this one so therefore okay therefore percentage change is how much it is equal to g dash g dash value is how much ma g into 1 minus 2 h divided by r uh, minus g divided by g multiplied by 100 clear no g you take common if i take g common 1 minus 2 h by r minus 1 divided by g multiplied by 100 so g and g if you get cancel plus 1 and minus 1 if they get cancel then it is minus 2h by r multiplied by 100 clear now so this is the percentage change in 
g value with respect to, to height okay <coughs> and what does minus value indicate here minus value indicates g value is reducing minus value m chupis tundi pi ki valle kodhi g value peragadu g value thaggu tundi if you travel higher and higher from the surface of earth your weight reduces okay meir baruvu go thakku ga karpin chala and tenche yali arthu nun chokka vayi kilometer lupe akkada vayi mission with the nilvan naran kondi chala thakku chupis tundi weight so no need of doing any dieting clear so physics nala vadu kondi okay that's it understood now so minus indicates g value reduces g value reduces with respect to, to height are you able to understand ma so let us do a small problem ma based on this one so find percentage change in g value at a height of at a height of 32 km from surface of earth from surface of earth okay ma so if i go to a height of 32 km above the surface of earth then at that height g value reduces by how much percentage radius, huh? radius 6400 km radius of earth is always a constant 6400 km adi meer batti pattali aa values anta kuda okay ma radius of earth is how much 6400 km mass of earth is how much 6 into Ah, uh, one percent is the answer. So make a note of these values. Ma. Radius of Earth, six thousand four hundred kilometer, approximately, and mass of Earth is six into ten power twenty-four kg. Okay, these values you should remember. Now see. So therefore, how to calculate uh, percentage change? Ma, minus two h by r multiplied by hundred. This is the equation. No? So substitute. So minus two into height is thirty-two divided by six four zero zero multiplied by hundred. So therefore, it is minus one percent. That is my answer. Okay. And minus one indicates what? G value reduces by one percent. Okay, ma? That's all. Understood now? So that is about altitude, changing of G value with respect to height. ओके हईट मारते जी वाल्यू एला चेंज दाने की क्या ओके मेनी डाउट दिश फ वालू नम चेज अंत मन फल मैनस इनीशि इनीशि मैनस फैनल वी शुड नाट चेज मीन आलवे फैनल वाल्यू मैनस इनीशि वाल्यू दट इज चेज ओके change divided by original value fraction fraction multiplied by 100 percentage okay this is how you have to calculate okay second one depth completed hmm? so now we are calculating g value depending on depth inside at okay second one is depth inside earth okay now see my here uh, we will do a small understanding so that you understand actually what is happening see ma consider this is earth earth are able to understand and the whole one is earth ma and if i am present on the surface of earth if i am present here okay at position number 1 so what is the g value at position number 1 it is uh, 9.8 meter per second square or approximately you can call it as 
But if you go inside earth, for example, I have reached up to here to position number 2. Okay, ma? Then what happens is, now from here if I draw a small spear touching that point, okay? Only the mass which is present inside this uh, dotted spear, only thus, that much amount of mass will give force on this body. Are you able to understand what is happening? Now where I am present at position 1 or position 2? Position. I am present at position 2. So touching that position 2, you draw a small spear. Okay? And that inside spear only will give force on this body. There is one outer spear also. No? This outer spear. That outer spear will not provide any force to, to this point. Okay? It means effective mass has reduced. Effective mass has Reduced effective radius also reduced, but the reduction in mass is greater than reduction in R value. Are you able to understand? So, therefore, when body reaches up to here, automatically the G value of the body reduces. Are you able to understand? So, this is inside sphere, or you can call smaller sphere that is better. Okay, ma? smaller sphere. Calculations I am not doing, just for your understanding, I am right. So, therefore, what I write if a body is at a depth d, this depth I will call it as depth d, at a depth d inside earth, are able to understand, ma? then the mass of smaller sphere, mass of smaller sphere only gives force on the body okay ma outer sphere is there no that outer sphere doesn't provide any force net force provided by outer sphere will be zero net force only is provided by inner sphere only okay and the equation to calculate g value there is g dash at a point number 2 is how much ma? It is uh, G into 1 minus D by R. This is the form. Calculations I am not doing. Direct equation I am giving. G dash at point 2 is how much? G into 1 minus D by R. Okay. Now when you look at this equation, G value is increasing or decreasing? decreasing. Again decreasing. No? Because this uh, equation I can write g dash is equals to g minus g into d by r no ma? So from g value you are removing some value no? G launch equals value thesis to normal. It means g dash is definitely less than g. Understood no? So therefore if you go deeper inside earth g value reduces. So pi ki value na g value reduce out the local value na g value reduce out. If you go above the surface of earth, G value reduces. If you go below the surface of earth also, G value reduces. In both conditions, it will reduce. Only on the surface of earth, G value is maximum. Artho what is it? So, my dieting challenge is also needed. Artho low pala bokka bittko na kilometer dooram doya kar weight choose kona me weight ta kuga ne want. Satisfaction. Clear? Raksha sananda mantra da. Uh, no, no. Here, according to derivation, you will get a different equation. Okay, ma? With respect to height, it is 2h by r. With respect to depth, it is only d by r. If you do the calculation, we will get the calculations we are skipping here. Unnecessary calculation. Okay, ma? So, just remember the equation. So, therefore, now we will calculate percentage change in a g with respect to depth. Okay, ma? Previously, we calculated percentage change with respect to height, no? Now, percentage change in G value with respect to depth. Again, which is the formula? So, percentage change, how can I calculate, ma? G dash minus G divided by G multiplied by 100. Same calculation. Hmm? But if you do this calculation, well, what I will get? I will get minus D by R multiplied by 100. There I got minus 2h by r, no? Here instead of 2h, I will get just d by r multiplied by 100. Okay, ma? That's it. Okay. 
So let us write one small problem on that so that we can understand what is happening here. So write down. So <coughs> A body is at a height of a body is at a height of 64 kilometer from Earth's surface. Earth's surface. Okay. So, what is the depth? What is the depth inside Earth? Inside Earth which has same g value same g value as that of height as that of 64 kilometer height that is the question okay ma? now try to do this calculation so a body is present at 64 kilometers of height ma? There, there will be some g value, no? Akaroka g value on Then, what is that depth inside the earth which has the same g value as that of g value at 64 kilometers above the earth? Okay? That g value I have to calculate. Anybody? 2 I am not calculating 2 percent or 3 percent. I want to calculate that depth inside the earth where g values are equal. Okay? At a 64 kilometers, what is the G value? Same G value should be there at a depth also. At depth, how can I calculate? Anybody? Sir, 120. 1.28. 1.28 may be correct. So, let us see. See here, what is the G value at a particular height? Ma? G into 1 minus 2H by R. This is the formula. No? And what is the G value at a particular depth? G into 1 minus D by R. So he said that both G values, they should be equal. No? Just equate them. So G into 1 minus 2H by R is equal to G into 1 minus D by R. So G and G get cancelled. So therefore, 1 minus 2h by r is equal to 1 minus d by r. Clear number? Therefore, I can say 2h is equal to d. Therefore, d is equal to 2 into h. So, 2 into height is 64, no? So, 2 into 64 is how much more? 128 kilometers. That is my answer. Are you able to understand? So, therefore, at a height of 64 and at a depth of 128, same g value will be present. Understood now? That's it. Make a note. Clear now? So that is the calculation depending on depth and sorry, altitude. No, 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 no. So it's really nothing at all. That's your wish. Clear now? Understood? No? Then the third calculation which we do is depending on shape of the body. Completed? Third one is shape of the body. Sorry, shape of earth. See, my earth is not a perfect sphere. Earth is not a perfect sphere. It is bulged at where it is bulged at equator. Okay, ma? And compressed at poles. And compressed at poles. So, shape of the earth is not like this. Ma? This is not correct. Shape of earth is approximately like this. Oh my God, like this. Globe, 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 
భగవంతుడు కాదు కదా మనుషులు మనుషులు దరిద్రమైన వాళ్ళు కాబట్టి అట్లే తయారు చేస్తారు యాక్చువల్లీ షేప్ ఆఫ్ అర్ దిస్ సీ వైట్ ఈస్ నాట్ సో హారిబులీ లైక్ దిస్ అప్రాక్సిమేట్లీ లైక్ దిస్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద అప్రాక్సిమేట్ షేప్ ఆఫ్ అర్త్ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ అర్త్ సిమా వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ వన్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద రేడియస్ అప్ టు ఈక్వేటర్ ను అట్ ఈక్వేటర్ రేడియస్ ఇస్ బిగ్గర్ ఆల్వేస్ అండ్ హియర్ పోల్స్ ఆర్ ప్రెసెంట్ so this is the radius to poles clear approximately so 21 kilometers of difference will be there so when compared to radius of poles and radius of equator so re minus rp will be how much approximately 21 kilometers of difference 21 is a very small value so this is the difference but definitely at equator radius will be greater and at poles radius will be lesser now if you see the equation of g value what is the equation of g value ma g is equal to gm by r square this is the equation no? this is the equation no ma so therefore g is directly proportional to r square or inversely proportional inversely, inversely it means if radius increases g value reduces no inverse proportional like that could be so g is inversely proportional to 1 by r square okay therefore if r value increases g value reduces ante kada so r value is maximum where r value maximum ekkada undi equator daggarna poles daggarna equator so at equator g value is max r value is maximum so therefore at equator g value is minimum okay ma so we are near to equator no so here our weight will be lesser our mana weight to slight ga takku untu if you go to poles poles dagger ki velnar anukondi either to north pole or south pole it appears your weight of the body has increased nikala anipistundi mass is remaining same but it appears as if as if your weight has increased because at the poles g value is maximum okay ma that's it therefore what i can write i can write at the poles g value is <coughs> maximum okay ma so g value at the poles is approximately 9.83 meter per second square g value at equator is 9.78 meters per second square these are the approximate values okay very small difference but there definitely there is some difference so at poles it is 9.83 whereas at equator it is 9.78 meter per second so very slight difference is there understood no so that is about g value depending on shape of earth okay so next one we will study depending on rotation of earth okay so fourth one is depending on rotation of earth are able to understand see ma see earth is rotating about its axis no for example if you take this as earth okay ma so earth is rotating about this axis with an angular velocity of omega okay ma and what is the angular velocity of earth angular velocity of earth how can i calculate ma ha d theta divided by dt okay change in angular displacement by change in time how much angle it will cover 2 pi radians for one rotation 360 degrees no ma 2 pi radians and what is the time taken 24 hours okay so therefore 2 pi divided by 24 multiplied by how many seconds ma uh, 3600 seconds so this is the angular velocity of earth earth is rotating with this much of angular velocity are you able to understand now so listen very carefully see ma so therefore this is the equator of earth what is this line this is the equator of earth okay now here there is one a body okay ma and from this body if you draw a line to this center of earth are you able to understand ma then uh, this body is making how much angle with respect to equator that angle is lambda if you take any place on the surface of earth or any body on the surface of earth 
then you draw a line, a straight line to the center of that uh, axis where axis and equator they are present. Are you able to understand what? Then this line is making how much angle? It is making an angle of lambda. And what is this lambda? Lambda is called as latitude of the place. Latitude of the place. Are you able to understand? No? In a social, you should have studied latitudes and longitudes, no? Mm? Mm. So, what is meant by latitude? Angle made by that place with respect to equator is nothing but latitude. Okay. So, latitude at equator is how much zero? That's all, no? Latitude of a place, where, when it is present on the equator, it will become zero. Because when, when a place is present here, how much angle it will make with respect to equator? Zero angle. Similarly, if a place is present at uh, poles, then the lambda value at poles is how much? It is 90 degrees. Clear? This is how we calculate latitude values. So, therefore, see, if earth is rotating, then this body is also rotating in a small circle. No? Is it correct? Total sphere is rotating. Earth is rotating. When and when and earth is rotating. So, here there is a very big circle. Are you able to understand? Why? Here there is a very big circle. But as you start moving upwards, this body is rotates in a small radius. Radius is smaller. Okay. But definitely this is moving in a circular path. This body is also moving in a circular path. If any body moves in a circular path, it experiences a centrifugal force. No? If then a body circular path lo rotate out to it always tries to move away from the circle. And what is that force called as? Centrifugal force. Okay? And it will be in which direction? It will be away from the center of the circle. This force is called centrifugal force. So, because of this centrifugal force, the effect of acceleration due to gravity reduces. Why it reduces, how it reduces, we are not going for the discussion. Directly we write the formula. Are you able to understand? Ma? So, any body rotating in a circular path, always it experiences some centrifugal force. No? So, it means there is some force which is acting away from the center of the circle. And weight of this body is acting in which direction? Weight is acting in this direction towards the center. Any body will experience force towards the center only, no? May nilbad ko no naru, may weight yeh direction lo untundi? Towards the center of earth. So, what is this force then? This is gravitational force. Okay? So, on this body, there are two forces. One force is force of earth. One force is centrifugal force. And if you take the resultant of these two forces, that force is less than Fg. That's what you together. E force ki, E force ki me resultant at this country, A force Fg kanna takkoondu. It means a net gravitational force on the body, what happening it is? Reducing. So therefore, weight of the body also reduces. So therefore, because of rotation of earth, weight of the body always reduces. Are you able to understand more? So let us make a diagram of this. So, if you take that body on the surface of earth, Clear, ma? So, this is the equator and here there is one body and this is the center of earth. So, this place is lambda. So, this is Fg, centrifugal force. Okay, ma? And this is Fg, gravitational force. Now, how can I take the resultant of these two? Ma? Parallelogram rule of addition I can use no? because two vectors are joined by which method? Tail to tail. So, you take parallelogram rule of addition. Okay. This is how I take parallelogram rule of addition. No? So, this is F net, net force. This is Fc, this is F net, net force acting on that body. And see the length of F net. F net is less than Fg, no? Okay, ma? Net force is less than gravitational force. Clear, no? Therefore, due to rotation, due to rotation, the effective, effective G value reduces. 
effective G value, what happens? Ma? It reduces. Okay. Artho thundu ke dayen zoru thunda. Body pane rendu forces unna. One is gravitational force, one is centrifugal force. And if you take the resultant, resultant is less than F G. Gravitational force kanna resultant force so takko gaund. Okay. So therefore, automatically if force reduces, G value also reduces. And that equation to calculate reduced G value because of rotation is G dash is equals to G minus R omega square cos square lambda. This is the equation. Okay, ma. The G value because of rotation of earth. Understood, no? G dash is equals to G minus R omega square cos square lambda. Understood, no, ma? So calculate G value at poles and G value at equator because of rotation. Calculate change. This diagram completed, ma? Hmm? All of you? Okay. So calculate G value at equator and G value at poles because of rotation. G value at equator. So G minus R omega square cos square 0. That's all, no? Because at equator, lambda value will be how much? Zero. zero. So therefore, G minus R omega square. This is the G value at, E means equator, Arthigad, equator. So G value at poles is how much? G minus R omega square cos square 90 degrees. Because at poles latitude is 90. Okay. Cos 90? Zero. So everything becomes zero. So G only. That's all. It means at G value doesn't reduce. Poles the G value lo mark It doesn't reduce. But it reduces to a greater value at the equator. Manam equator ke dagar So rotation valla mana weight konsa tagbuntu na mat. So even because of shape of earth also G value is lesser at equator. Even because of rotation also G value is lesser at the equator. So, rendit valla mana barvu takku ga Are you able to understand ma? So, this is one important point which you should remember. So, therefore, what I write here, I write that due to rotation due to rotation and shape because of both of them G value is lesser, G value is lesser at equator. Okay, ma? So, because of shape of earth also, G value is lesser at the equator, and because of rotation of earth also, G value is lesser at the equator. Understood, Dama? That's it. And fifth one is geographical deposits. Geographical deposits depends on density of the matter present at a particular site on the surface of earth. And that is not present in our syllabus, only up to here questions will be asked. Okay, ma? So remember up to here, we will continue in the next class. Okay, ma? So see this question, ma? Question is what should be the angular velocity of earth so that weight of the body at equator should become zero then find the length of the day adi question okay ma it means earth should rotate with how much angular velocity so that for any body which is present on the equator it should become a massless body adi massless body of body okay ma then what is the angular velocity of the earth now we know what is the angular velocity of earth no? now presently currently what is the angular velocity of earth 2 pi divided by t so 2 pi divided by 24 into 2, 3, 6, 0, 0. This is the angular velocity of earth actually. Okay. Time period 24 hours only, no ma? And 1 hour is equal to 3600 seconds. Okay. Now, consider this is earth. Okay ma? And this is the equator. Sorry. This is the axis around which earth is rotating. And uh, this is the equator. Okay. So, there is one body present on the equator. And weight of this body should become how much? weight of this body should become zero that is uh, body should become a weightless body mass will be there but it should become a weightless body okay then what is the angular velocity of that then omega dash value i have to calculate 
So, because of rotation of earth, what is the equation for G value sima? Weight is equal to mg will become 0 only when G becomes 0. That's all, no? That's all, no? Weight will become 0 when G value becomes 0. Okay? So, therefore, what is the G value because of rotation of earth? G dash is equals to G minus R omega square cos square lambda. This already we have studied, no? G value because of rotation of earth. This is the formula, no? Ma? So, G minus R omega square cos square lambda. At equator, what is lambda value? Nah, at equator, the uh, lambda means latitude, no? Ma? Latitude of a place is how much? Latitude of a place is 0. Are you able to understand? So, therefore, now substitute. So, G dash is equals to G minus R omega square multiplied by cos uh, 0 whole square. Okay. Cos 0? 1. So, and this total value should become how much? 0. Because total G value should become 0, then only weight will become 0. Clear number? So, therefore, G is equals to R omega square cos 0 value is 1. 1 square value is again 1 only. Therefore, what is omega value? It is square root of G divided by R. So, square root of G value is 9.8 divided by R value is 6400 multiplied by 10 power 3. That's all. No? So, let us call this value as omega. Angular velocity of the earth. It means if earth rotates with this much of angular velocity, then total G value will become how much? It will become 0. Understood? No? In the angular velocity, we will be floating in the We'll be floating in here. Because there is no G value. G value has become 0. So, our masses will become weightless and we will be floating in here if we are very close to the equator. Okay? So, if I do this calculation, the answer which I will get is okay, ma? So, 1.237 into 10 power minus 3. So, 1.237 multiplied by 10 power minus 3 radians per second. Okay. So, this is the angular velocity with which Arthu should rotate if the person at or any body at equator should become massless, weightless body, not massless, weightless body. Okay. Then he is asking one more question, Nama. What is the second question he is asking? Then find the length of the day. Okay. If earth rotates with this much amount of angular velocity, then length of the day means what? Time period of earth. Length of the day means, day yantha length undi 10 centimeter lo 20 centimeter lo nga dhanartho. Length of the day means, what is the time period of earth? Now presently time period is 24 hours noma, when angular velocity is this much. But when angular velocity is this much, then what is the time period? How can I calculate? Okay. So therefore, Mm. Initial omega value we know no omega value is how much for 24 hours okay ma omega value is 2 pi divided by 24 into 3600 this is the angular velocity for 24 hours okay now for uh, g becoming 0 what is the angular velocity let call let us call this angular velocity to be omega dash how much it is 1.237 multiplied by 10 power minus 3 okay so just to divide both of them okay so therefore omega dash divided by omega is how much ma it is uh, 2 pi by t dash divided by 2 pi by t that's all no so therefore how much it will be omega dash by omega will be equal to t divided by t dash i want a t dash value no ma so t dash value is how much t into omega divided by omega dash okay so therefore t dash is equals to t is 24 multiplied by omega value we know now already substitute this value omega value is how much uh, 2 pi divided by 24 into 3600 divided by omega dash already I have calculated no 1.237 into 10 power minus 3 ok so from this just you calculate t dash value that is my required answer so if I do this calculation the answer which I will get is 1.4 hours 1.4 
hours or you can say nearly some 86 minutes I think 84.6 minutes 84.6 minutes are you able to understand ma? clear no? so if earth rotates with this much of angular velocity so that weight of the body becomes zero at the equator then earth will complete rotation in how much time in one and a half hour actually time period is 24 hours no ma? but in just 1.4 hours it will complete the rotation okay so it means uh, 42 minutes will be night 42 minutes will be day that's it so make out okay so this is the next question now find the acceleration due to gravity in a mine of depth 6400 sorry 640 kilometers if the value at the surface is 9.8 meter per second square okay on the surface of earth what is the g value on the surface of earth it is 9.8 then i want to find out a g value at which depth ma at a depth of 6000 uh, sorry 640 kilometers then can you say which equation i can use g, g? Into one minus ah, see ma there are two values of uh, ah, at a depth he gave no there is only one formula g dash is equals to g into 1 minus d by r this is the only formula which we have at a depth he is saying no depth means there is only one formula clear number so therefore g dash is equals to 9.8 multiplied by 1 minus 640 divided by 6400 so therefore g dash is uh, hmm? Hmm. g dash is equals to 9.8 multiplied by 1 minus uh, how much ma? can i k 0 0.1 so 9.8 multiplied by how much 0 0.9 so just do this calculation that is the g value okay so the answer which he gave is 8.82 meter per second square 8.82 meter per second square that's all that is our answer okay see my here so find the height over the earth's surface that is h value i have to calculate clear number so at which weight of the body becomes half of its value at the surface so weight will become half in which condition ma? weight half when g value becomes half that's all no weight to formula is how much weight of the formula is mg okay weight will become w by 2 Okay, ma, only in which condition? Only if g becomes g by 2. That's all, no? Only if g value becomes half, then only weight also will become half. Okay? So, therefore, to calculate g value at a particular height, we have two equations, no? For depth, we have only one equation. But for altitude, we have two equations. What are the two equations? one equation is g dash is equals to g r square divided by r plus h whole square this is one equation another equation is g dash is equals to g into 1 minus 2 h divided by r this is one more equation this equation is derived from this one only but definitely we are taking two equations now out of these two which equation i have to consider shall i take this one or this one this one then do this code Ah. See, this equation is considered only for small heights, chinna heights, 60 kilometer, 100 kilometer, 200, 300 kilometers, only for small heights only you can take this one. But here see what is happening, g value should become half, g half hyperbole. it means height should be very large, height should be very large. Therefore, this equation is not useful here, you have to take this equation and this is the equation which you can consider for any heights, smaller heights or bigger heights but this is only for smaller heights only question ni batti equation select chess call according to the question you are supposed to select the equation so therefore substitute here so h value i have to calculate number so g dash is equals to it will become g by 2 is equal to g r square divided by r plus h whole square okay so therefore uh, 1 by 2 is equals to r square divided by r plus h whole square squaring on both sides r by r plus h taking square root on both sides 1 by root 2 i will get okay ma so r root 2 uh, 
I am not squaring, I am taking root, root on both sides. Square and square are there, no? I am taking root, square root I am taking. So R root 2 is equals to R plus H. Clear no ma? So therefore uh, H value is how much? R root 2 minus R. That's all no? So therefore H value is equals to R if I take common, then root 2 minus 1. So H is equals to R value 6400 kilometers no ma? Multiplied by root 2 minus 1. So 6400 multiplied by root 2 value is approximately 1.414 minus 1. So therefore 6400 multiplied by 0.414. So do this calculation that will be the required height. Okay ma? So these values you should remember ma. Root 2 value approximately 1.414. Root 3 value 1.71732. Okay? These two values you should remember. Clear? Because in uh, some of the questions, you may have to use these two. Root 2 1.414, root 3 is 1.732. Okay? So therefore, the answer which I will get is 2560 kilometers. 2560 kilometers. So if you go to this much height, then your weight will become half. Okay? That's it. So a body stretches a spring by a particular length at the earth's surface at equator. Okay ma? At what height above the south pole will it stretch the same spring by the same length? Assume Arthur to be spherical. That is the given question. Okay ma? Now let us study this uh, each of this uh, detail given very carefully so that finally we can proceed to the problem. Clear ma? See consider this is a spring. Are you able to understand ma? To this spring if I attach some mass then what will happen ma? This spring will elongate no? If I attach some mass spring will elongate. Okay? Spring is elongating because of what? Because of weight of this body no? Are you able to understand ma? What is the elongation produced? Elongation produced is this much. This is the elongation which is produced. Okay. So what is the weight of the body? Weight of the body is mg. Clear? When mass elongates this spring, spring develops a restoring force. No, ma? Already we studied. No? When I spring, when I pull spring in downwards direction, restoring force will develop in opposite direction. So when restoring force and mg, when they become equal, then only the spring will stop elongation. Okay? So until mg and fr they become equal, continuously there will be some elongation. And what is the equation for restoring force k into x? No? Equation for restoring force is k into x. It means to produce this elongation. So he said that elongation at the equator and elongation at the poles both are same. What is the Elongation at equator and elongation at poles both are same. It means kx value is same everywhere. Elongation is same, no? So kx value remains to be same. If kx is same, mg also is same. If mg is same, g value is also same. That is the meaning of this one, no? So what is the g value at equator? Same g value should be present at poles also. Then only the same body can produce same elongation. Clear, ma? So therefore, what we write here, therefore, if elongation should be equal, if elongation should be equal, okay ma? Kx should be equal. Ante kada? Kx, Kx means what? Restoring force. Kx should be equal. So, Kx is equal to mg. Therefore, g value also should be, g value also should be same. Where? At? poles and at equator okay ma so at poles also we should have same g value at equator also we should have same g value then only my weight will be equal if my weight will be equal then same weight will produce same elongation okay now see now consider this is earth ma this is the surface of earth and this is the axis through which earth is rotating and consider this is the equator. Okay. 
so here there is one uh, spring which is placed and this is the weight of this body mg okay ma and he is saying above the south pole let us consider this is uh, north pole and this is south pole clear no ma above the south pole means somewhere here i am placing this uh, spring and this is the body which is attached so this height i am supposed to calculate are you able to understand so that here if elongation is x here also elongation must be x only it means here if g value is g dash here also g value should be g dash only both should be equal then only my elongation will become equal is that the question okay see now at the equator g value reduces because of rotation of earth no? at the equator what is due to see see he said that earth is spherical it means you are not supposed to take g value because of shape of earth g value shape pain kuda depend avutundi kada but he said earth is spherical so you need not consider g value because of shape because everywhere it is having same radius prathi chota oka radius untundi kada it means you are supposed to take g value only because of rotation of earth at the equator okay so first of all i will write at equator okay ma so at equator what is the g value g dash is equals to g minus r omega square cos square lambda lambda value is 0 degrees no matter equator lambda value is 0 at equator okay so substitute so g dash is equals to g minus r omega square multiplied by 1 so this is the g value at the equator okay now at poles at poles at poles there is no rotation no at poles the rotation under and the color because at equator body is rotating in a very big circuit okay r value is bigger so therefore centripetal force and centrifugal forces also will be very large but here this if you take this point this is not at all rotating in a circle no e point this kunte the circle rotate about a minute for example if you take this point this is rotating in a small circle this point if you take this point it is rotating in a very small circle and if you take this point it is not at all rotating in a circle are able to understand so therefore the points which are close to the poles they don't have the effect of rotation okay ma? so therefore write down so points close to poles either north pole or south pole does not have does not have effect of rotation there is no effect of rotation okay ma because you can say lambda value is how much 90 degrees no for example if you take a north pole or south pole here lambda is 90 here also lambda value is 90 cos 90 0 so therefore there is no effect of rotation okay but at the equator g value reduces because of rotation equator the gara rotation will emote on the because of rotation g value reduces and here also g value should reduce because same g value should be there no? and here how can i reduce g value at the south pole how can i reduce g value yellow reduce sales very simple either you have to go inside earth or either you have to go away from the surface of earth there are two conditions no? are able to understand ma? so here what is happening so at at equator g value reduces because of rotation at poles also g value should reduce no? because same g value should be there if the same g value is there weight is same if weight is same elongation also will be same now at the poles how can i reduce g value poles the g value ni yala tagginchali either i should go inside at if you go inside at the then also d value reduces no or i should go above the surface of earth okay ma surface of earth ki pai kanna vellali then only g value reduces because at the poles there is no effect of rotation R rotation led are you able to understand ma? so what we are doing we are taking this uh, spring and we are going to a height of h okay so that at this position and at this position on the surface same g value should be present okay ma? so therefore at poles if i go to particular height then what is the formula to calculate g value Japandi? Okay, particular height about the g value formula Ah, so g dash is equals to g into 1 minus 2h divided by r 
no need of using gr square by r plus h whole square because very small heights only we are considering no so you can take this relation so therefore this equation of g and this equation of g they should be equal then weight will be equal if weight is equal elongation will be equal that's it so equate both of them clear now so therefore uh, let it be my first equation and let it be my second equation so g minus r omega square is equals to g into 1 minus uh, 2h divided by r clear now so what i want i want uh, h value only no it means i have to substitute all the values no? so g minus r omega square is equals to g minus g into 2h divided by r g and g get cancelled so r omega square is equals to g into 2h divided by r okay ma therefore uh, what is h value h value is equals to um, r square omega square divided by 2 into g clear ma so radius of earth is 6400 into 10 power 3 no ma 6400 kilometers but i have to write in meters no square multiplied by angular velocity of earth is so much 2 pi divided by 24 into 3600 whole square divided by 2 into g g value you can take 9.8 okay so if you do this total calculation then i will get the height at which i have to move above the south pole that's all okay and answer for this one is 10.8 kilometer or uh, 10819 meters okay ma 10819 meters or simply you can call 10.8 kilometer that's right so if i go to that much of height then elongation of the spring will be same at equator also as well as at poles also that's <laughs> it. So, simple pendulum has a time period of T naught at north pole. So, he is asking for consider for Earth's rotation only. And you don't consider the shape of Earth. That is the meaning of this one. Are you able to understand? Ma? Shape of Earth you need not consider. Just consider for only rotation of Earth. See, ma, what is the time period of a simple pendulum? It is a T naught at north pole. At north pole, time period is T naught. So, what is the equation for a time period of a simple pendulum? Ma? Ah, time period of a simple pendulum. Okay. Formula is T is equals to 2 pi root L by G. This is the formula. Understood? No? So, therefore, if I consider only rotation, if I consider only rotation, okay, ma? then uh, time period at the poles is how much? At uh, uh, poles, there is no effect of rotation, no? At north pole and south pole, effect of rotation is not there, it is zero. So, therefore, it is uh, T at poles is nothing but T naught, no? so T naught is equals to 2 pi root L by G. Okay? But at equator, there is effect of rotation no? at equator there is effect of rotation ok ma so therefore let that uh, time period let it be t so therefore t is equals to 2 pi root l by g dash g value will change now definitely because at equator earth is rotating if earth is rotating at equator definitely g value reduces so therefore g dash value will be how much g minus r omega square cos square lambda so lambda value is zero at equator that's all no so therefore substitute its value so g dash is equals to g minus r omega square multiplied by cos square lambda cos square uh, zero is one okay ma so therefore what is the equation for a new time period at the equator it is uh, two pi root l by g minus r omega square this is the equation so this was my first equation and this is my second equation so just to divide both of them i want t only no okay ma so therefore t divided by t naught 
is equals to 2 pi root L by G minus R omega square divided by and T naught value is how much ma? 2 pi root L by G. Okay. So 2 pi and 2 pi get cancelled. So T is equals to T naught multiplied by square root of. So root L root L also will get cancelled ma. So therefore G divided by G minus R omega square. So this is my answer. That's all. Very simple. Asalaman on the calculation. Very simple. So T is equals to T naught multiplied by square root of G divided by G minus R omega square. So one equation we have written for uh, poles. Ma. Okay. One equation I have written at equator. At poles there is no effect of rotation. At equator there is effect of rotation. So just divided both of them and I got the answer. Okay. So if you want to further simplify this one, let us see what we can do. Completed ma this one? Mm, right now. So let us see. <coughs> further uh, let us see how we can simplify this one. So therefore T is equals to T naught multiplied by G divided by G minus R omega square power 1 by 2. I can write number. Root can be written as power 1 by 2. Now there is a G in numerator and denominator. So divide everything by G. So T is equals to T naught into square root of or uh, 1 divided by 1 minus R omega square divided by G power 1 by 2. I can write like this. So T is equals to T naught. If for this total value, if I t want to take to the numerator, then I can write uh, 1 minus R omega square divided by G power minus 1 by 2. If uh, denominator goes to the numerator, then power will be uh, power sign will change number. If there is plus, it will become minus. If it is minus, it will become plus. Now, this is the relation according to binomial theorem. So, this is the form, the form of 1 minus x power n. This is a binomial expression. Okay, ma? Then, in binomial expression, only first term is significant. Ma? Remaining all terms, they are not so significant. Okay, so therefore, if I write the first term, I will write t is equals to t naught, and here whatever power is there, that will become the coefficient of this term. Okay, it means one minus of. Now, what is the coefficient? What is the power present? Minus one by two multiplied by r omega square divided by g, and after this, many terms will follow, but they are not significant. They are very small, so you can neglect them. What are you able to understand what is happening? Just power I am taking to be the coefficient of this value. Okay. So minus of minus will become plus. So therefore, final equation can be written as t is equals to t naught multiplied by 1 plus uh, r omega square divided by 2 into g. So if option is of this form, then you can identify this equation. Are able to understand? Ma? So generally option may not be given like this. Options may be given in this uh, final form. So you should have an idea about how to uh, solve this binomial type of expressions. Okay, ma? In binomial expression what you have to do, whatever power you have, you make that power along with the sign, the coefficient of the term which is present here. A term ki coefficient is a sign. That's all. That becomes the simplified equation. Understood? No, ma? That's it. So this is about uh, the questions on acceleration due to gravity. Ma. In the next class, we will study about gravitational field and gravitational potential.